Hi guys, welcome to our random kitchen. This is a new one. <laughs> so if you ever get hungry and you need something chop chop, this is the meal to cook. Everyone knows this. And that's spaghetti. You just need your chopping board. You need your knives. You need bell pepper. Could be red paper, green paper, um, the yellow paper. You need tomatoes. You need onions you need spices if you want in this case we didn't add spices because we have little kids around that are allergic to most of that stuff of course you need spaghetti you need saucepans you need uh, uh pans like all that stuff you're going to use to cook you need salt do not forget the salt and you need the you can use either beef or frankfurters or chicken or any sort of meat that you like organize your veggies and the tomatoes in a kit order before you chop them i like to do that like i like pretty food uh, you can see what the cute veggies look like after they've been chopped at this point your spuds should be boiling and should not stick to the pan As you can see, we used butter, so have it on the on a hot pan and let it melt. Just do that, or well, you can stir with a spatula, a food spatula, or a ladle, to fasten the, the melting of the butter. Add some onions. Have your onions cut in slightly large chunks, not tiny, tiny pieces let them brown not burn so the browning is what you need they need to keep uh to keep that golden color that golden look you can get yourself a glass of juice as you cook you know to keep your throat mm, you get what i mean <laughs> anyway add some tomatoes um, stir them as well with your spatula or your ladle on low heat the heat should be really low we have used a small gas cylinder for this video please remember to add salt and spices any other spices you may want to use this is the time to do that so that they all cook evenly evenly on low heat Continue to stir with your spatula. You can add tomato paste if you have. Please note, we place the gas cylinder on a rug to avoid staining the floors because some foods overflow. Yeah, so cover your food for a few minutes. After those few minutes, you can add all the paper that you have the red, the yellow, and the green paper into your paste and stir and stir on low heat, on low heat, on low heat, keep stirring until it's, it's half ready, like crunchy ready, not smashed, smudged kind of ready. So cover on low heat and let it boil and simmer. I think Sima is the right word to use, yeah. Okay, um, get the cover off. And then remember to stir a little to avoid burning. If you want it to be a little bit soupy, you can add more paste or gravy if you have. But in this case, we are going to add our, our spaghetti, our already boiled spaghetti and remember it has some water in it some soupy you know spaghetti water so that will add a little bit of soup into the paper and the veggies that we've used remember to add spices if you're a lover of spices like i mentioned earlier we didn't use those we just used the basics just paper tomatoes and onions so you need to keep stirring and mixing so it's at this point that you add your pre-cooked 
beef slices or shredded beef um, so you mix and start together you keep mixing to your liking you can add shredded chicken you can add frankfurters like i'd said earlier you can add any kind of meat that you feel you like or even sausages could be shredded pork um any kind of meat that you love uh i, I know someone who uses um bacon as well and it's pretty really tasty really 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 tasty guys look at that look at that enjoy